Hi, it's time to stamp together. Today we're going to study heat and stick powder. Heat and stick powder is a white powder. It's an adhesive that's used to hold on to glitter. We're going to make a beautiful card, Christmas card here with snowflakes, and it uses the Festive Flurry Stampin' Up stamp set and framelets. Now Stampin' Up has bundled this so when you purchase the framelets and the stamps together it's 15% off. And anytime you've got framelets or a punch to cut out something it's a winner. And 15% off is even better. Alright, to begin with we're going to use some Bermuda Bay cardstock and actually I have already stamped one snowflake here, the next to the smallest stamp, and now I'm going to stamp the largest one. I'm going to stamp on the foam pad. It's actually the paper piercing pad, but it's great to help the rubber stamp have all contact with the cardstock and making a nicer inked image. So we're going to ink in Versamark and stamp. We'll use our heat and stick powder now. Pouring right over the snowflake, totally covering it. You can shake off the excess. Now when using the heat and stick powder, it's an adhesive and you want to heat it just to the point of liquefying it or melting it so that it holds on to the glitter. I'm going to use the heating tool and just barely heat, heat it halfway, don't overheat. I hold my heating tool about an inch, inch and a half from the image and then immediately you'll want to put the silver glitter onto the snowflake and again shake off the excess. There's our snowflake and then the second step is reheating. Again you're just wanting to melt and it doesn't take long at all that heat and stick powder so that it holds on to the glitter. Now we can use our framelits and the magnetic platform. The magnetic platform holds on to the framelits so that it stays exactly where we want it to there's a framelit for every size of snowflake. We're going to use the large one here. And we need to layer our sandwich, our magnetic platform, our cutting pad, our cardstock with our stamp snowflake on it. And then you can tell that the magnet kind of just holds on to the cardstock with our snowflake and a cutting pad on top. And run this through the big shot. Now the magnetic platform can be purchased in September. You can go through my website and order one. It will be available at that time. Now we've got our large snowflake, our next to uh, the small snowflake, and then also we've stamped in Bermuda Bay uh, the next to the large size and the very smallest snowflake we can use dimensionals to put these together. I always start with the smallest one. Put a couple of dimensionals on and take off the wax paper. Layer that onto the next size snowflake. Flip it over and then we'll do this again. We'll put some dimensionals on there. Oops, that one's not sticky. and layer it on the next size up. 
and again put a couple of dimensionals on. Things always stand out. They pop more when they've got Stampin' Dimensionals on them. And place that on the largest snowflake. Now, that will go on your card. But to finish this front of the card, we're using the Festive Flurry uh, pattern paper. It is cut 1 and 3 eighths by 4 inches and that is mounted on a piece of whisper white that is 1 and 3 fourths by 4 and 1 eighth. Your mat here is just 1 eighth all the way around and then you'll adhere that onto a regular 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half size piece of cardstock. At that point we want to add some silver ribbon and you're going to add that across the top and across the bottom. Now you can take a glue dot and adhere, put a glue dot on each end of the ribbon. Oops. And that makes it really easy to just place it across the end, bend it across the back, and stick. And then the same way you can take the ribbon and put it on with a glue dot. So that, here's your card, you've got your ribbon on there and you've got your snowflake on there. Now on the inside to finish this, we did another snowflake in silver with the glitter but we stamped it with Versamark. We poured heat and stick powder on it. We heated it, then poured the glitter on it and reheated it and we've got a snowflake and it doesn't rub off. It holds on to it, the glitter with the heat and stick powder. And we used a sentiment from Christmas Messages. I hope you'll enjoy stamping your festive flurry card.